Hello and welcome, I'm Roomba, thank you for joining me, let's play some more Factorio. So I've been playing this game so much, I've been playing it on Twitch, I've been playing it on Solo Time, I've just been quite busy! <laughs> can't seem to get enough of this game, I don't know why. I just really enjoy it, don't you? I do. And every now and then I find myself just chopping these things down. Um, I did have the music on a little bit louder because I was playing by myself, we'll turn that down a little bit. Maybe not quite that low. Don't want it to be overpowering, but then again, I don't want it to be too quiet that you can't even hear it. Looks like we could use a light or two over here. Those are some bullets. If I remember correctly, these guys ran around us last time. So in my solo campaign, what I started to do is I like the idea of having all of the factory stuff in one location and then all of the raw materials being ferried long distances to the factory versus trying to set up small factory type things near the resources. Because the resources, as big as they are, as big as this is, this will run out if we play the game long enough. So it's very important that, I think, that you have a, a proper factory setup and you can do stuff like that. So anyway, we've got access to a lot of inserters that I'm not using. And I'm going to go ahead and start making some long-ended inserters. I started using those as well in my, uh, my solo campaign, so I'm going to start using those a bit more. You can do some pretty cool things with them. Like... What I had been doing was, um, you know, like with this setup, we've got the coal mixed with the copper. If you want to do a two-lane track, you can do that pretty easily with long-handed inserters. And I kind of like that setup a bit more because the coal, it's nice to have the fuel with the raw materials, but the throughput, meaning how much actual copper ore can this track put through, is actually quite low when it's only on one side. And, as you can see, the coal basically just gets backed up forever. And, and at least for now, what I've found is that it's, it's actually sometimes faster to just manually load the furnaces. You put 64 coal in there, and you're good for a very long time. Not a big deal at all, I think, to manually load it. So, I might redesign this whole thing. <laughs> just, just destroy everything. Got some more walls, that's nice. Uh, looks like that we did finish the wall up there. I don't know if I really want to continue this this gun thing all the way around. I was thinking about doing it, but that is, you know, we are causing some pollution. These guys are going to continue to attack us. So we do have to consider that. Yeah, like, like ferrying coal up here, it works, but wall production... It's such a... I found... I actually... I tend to... I'm overbuilding walls. Like, we don't need this. So let's just... Let's just make the executive decision. Let's just shut down wall production for now. We don't need this many walls. We don't need bricks. We don't need any of this crap. Oh, look at it. It's exploding. Inventory's full. Exploding coal. Nice. I want more space for actual factory stuff. All right, do we have a place that we can store all of our junk? Well, I haven't, I really haven't even started to automate anything yet in this playthrough. All right, so we're also pretty close to power production capacity. We've got lots of miners working. That's pretty good. All this for bullets? Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? It's a lot of darn bullets. Are these things full? They should be full. Bullets are almost full. I can see those. I don't know if you can see them. They're right there. Um, we're almost backed up on bullets. And that's the other thing. Like Bullets are good, but... Eh, I'm starting to rethink some of my design strategies. So, let's see. Um, for now, I think we just plop down a couple boxes we have any boxes? I do. Alright, let's just load up with all this crap. This will just be store stuff storage. Just hold on to these walls. Hold on to this stone. And let's put all the copper into here for now. Let's put all the iron into there. Don't get me wrong, we need all that stuff. We really, really do.
which is not nearly in this kind of quantity. And spending energy and causing pollution to mine stone like this? Ugh. It's a bad idea, Arumba. Shouldn't be doing that. What we need is like, we need more focus on technology, more focus on steel, and other things. We're just, I'm just not even going to make any walls for a while. We have tons, we have way more than we need. We could even, we could double up the walls. We'll put a light up here. So we've got our stuff storage. We have copper manufacturing, like copper manufacturing is certainly more important. Oh, you know what? We could probably store the copper there. So let's, uh, let's do that. Eventually we'll pick it up again. We need to get some more automated units going. Do we have any more of those things going? All right, let's construct some. Our research is happening here. We don't have any red science packs. We need more of those. Let's get some more science going after that. Okay, so power usage should be down since I got rid of four of those things. Now we have more room for other other equipment that I should be prioritizing more, like radar scanners. Knowing what's out there is really useful. I mean, look how far I can zoom out. We are so tiny on this map. And I could have a bunch of radar scanners finding the new aliens. Are those aliens up there? I think they are. And I do like the idea of just having a, a few guns around me. So let's have a, a safe spot that we can go to. And if we load them up with 50 bullets, roughly a piece, that's a lot of ammo. It's pretty good. We'll pick up a few bullets for ourselves as well. Okay, so how can we start getting more automation going? I actually think that I want to focus on some more steel production. We can even, we can make steel, right? I researched that already? No, I didn't. God, I'm really far behind. I haven't done much in this campaign. Let's give you the science that you need. Automation 2. Just red science. We need more red science packs. Do we have any of the units? Did I make those just now? Yes, we have 15 of them. Great. Okay, so... Let's just throw some of these things down. And let's start manufacturing science packs. So what we can do is um, we'll make a wooden box. Actually, iron chests will work. I hate to have to queue those up. Now we'll just use wood for now. And in these boxes, we will throw iron and copper. Half of that copper into that one, half of that copper into this one, half the iron. Well, really as much as can fit, I guess. We'll grab some regular, regular inserters for now. I guess they'll, they'll be fast enough. And I need you to make red science packs, please. Oh shoot, we need iron gear wheels. I always send, I tend to do that. I, I notice like, oh, it, it only takes 
And I'm making another axe, too. Oh, it only takes so much stuff, right? It just takes uh, metal and metal. No, it takes copper plates and iron gear wheels. So we need to do that instead. Um, we will grab all of this iron back out again. I've got way too much copper in here. Like, this will never get used. I don't like how it's stacking it. Okay. Okay, um... We're going to do some more manual loading, and that's okay. For now, make some gears. Okay. That should work now. So, these should probably be fast inserters, because that's going to be our bottleneck. To do that, we need iron plates. We can borrow a few of these. We'll make up some fast inserters to replace that. Um, really, we should eventually just replace all of our inserters with faster equipment. But that will be pretty good. So we'll get some good iron gear wheel production going and we'll get some serious red science packs and then if we wanted to we could try to automate this and it'd actually be better if this was reversed if this is going to be the production area maybe I'll just duplicate this setup elsewhere like over here so we have space we will have an area that's kind of dedicated to science we certainly don't need all of these down there. Okay, I like I like the kind of the order, the process that we're going in. And I don't know why I did this. Temporary power outages are commencing. There's no reason to have it shorter. I really like using underground pipe now. I mean, I'm going to leave some space for more boilers. Temperature should be back up to full, yeah? We're fine. Okay, house power usage. We're producing less than we are consuming. Production could be higher. That means that we're doing okay. Um, performance is fluctuating... Still the main thing is the mining drills. We're almost getting full iron production. I feel like we're wasting a lot on bullets. Bullet production has actually stopped. Okay, let's let's just call it good on bullets. If we need more bullets, we can always set this up again later. I want space for real production. Alright, so now we got some good iron going. Let's really make sure for now that this, this box has lots of iron. So that's going to be the bottleneck on these. Like, this thing has plenty. Did I do this one the wrong way? What's going on here? Oh, shoot! Output's full. Hmm, that is a something we need to, to worry about. So we will pull Yeah, for now we'll just have to pull those out. And we will grab them up into a box of sorts.
Okay, now we shouldn't have any problems. We're being attacked. Five turrets are engaged with the enemy. See map for more details. Okay, so our left flank is getting attacked. So they, they just shot everything down. No damage was sustained. Get obliterated. Very good. Now eventually those bullets will run out, so I'll need to pay attention to this this thing and see how well that's actually flowing. But for now, I think we are very, very safe. So Yes. Now back to setting up a proper setup of lots of science. So we can get more technology going. And actually, um, again, I'm hesitant to automate this just because yeah, fine. Because I don't want to make it temporary. I, I don't want to make a temporary thing more permanent by making it functional. Okay. Well, at least that thing will load those up into there. And I think it can hold it can hold a lot. just in case we'll still have the box so if this one can't pick them up or doesn't need them they'll go into the box okay so now we'll go over here and we'll actually work on setting that whole thing up again <laughs> this time better with more space Alright, so I like that kind of squared out layout, one every couple telephone poles. Although, didn't I have those closer than normal? I did. Shoot. Alright, so... Our new pattern of light spread, or like power spread, will start here. This game is, is very good if you like to obsessively adjust things. Like if it never quite feels perfect, you'll love this game. However, I do think I'm going to take a break here. It's getting a little bit hot in the office. I still don't have the AC fully installed, which is really disappointing, but it should be fixed soon, within the next day or so. And we'll go from there. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, thank you for watching, and I appreciate your comments and your feedback. And do critique me. I, I think that it helps a lot. I do read those comments. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you soon.